friends welcome back to my channel sass here i'm here for another recap of love after lockup y'all i think this season is going to be pretty good i wish it wasn't an hour and a half but i deal with it y'all i think this season is giving us what we need to give monique and Derek. so i'm looking for right there okay happy new year y'all 2023 Okay, now you done clicked on this video. If you new here, you might as well join the family. Join it! Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And y'all don't forget to hit the likes and comment. Let's start off with Nathan and Skylar. Nathan is excited. Why? Because it's time for Skylar to get on out of jail, okay? It's time for her to get out of prison, and he is so ready, okay? There's a little hiccup there in the family. See, we got the two aunties. His dad's sister is the more level-headed, easygoing, you know, won't start none, won't be none. Okay, she's the reasonable one. Want everybody to get along. Want everybody, you know, to be happy, healthy, and loved. <laughs> Wants to give Skylar a chance. We got to give him a chance. We know it's been a rocky road, but I'm going to be optimistic. Now, that's the gray-haired Bob lady, honey. Then, we have his mom's sister. I believe that's his mom, Auntie Tina. She wants all the smoke. Do you hear me? She's not down with this relationship. She's a little fuzzy with Skylar. She don't care for Skylar. And so she's letting Nathan know about it. Nathan said, now listen, okay? You're my auntie. I appreciate you looking out for me, but you're going to be disrespecting my woman. How about when he went to the call and Auntie Tita was said now, and he was like, now listen, I don't want to argue with you. I don't want no argument, but you ain't going to be disrespectful. And honey, Auntie said, oh, you don't want me to be disrespectful, but you expect me to be disrespected. I said, check. Auntie Tita ain't down with it, okay? She ain't about it, okay? Auntie Tina said, listen, something ain't right. And I don't want my nephew to get hurt. So here comes the other auntie talking to Auntie Tina. I was like, listen, I know you upset. And I know there's question marks, exclamation points, and red flags all over the place. But we have to give them a chance. Auntie Tina was like, listen, okay, I got my antennas up. All right, and I'm going to tell him how I feel. So here is Nathan. He don't walk back to the house. He was like, man, I ain't even arguing with you. And so the other auntie is there with Nathan so he can get everything situated for Skylar's release. And then Auntie Tina is the one that, you know, she was a little upset. But she went ahead and took, took her feet to the street, Jack. So then it's time. For Skylar to get out. Nathan got him some flowers. Nathan generally looks like he loves this girl. Skylar, please don't break his man's heart. Skylar, don't be coming out of prison with no BS. Okay? Don't, don't do it. All right? Nathan seems like he's a good dude. But I've said that before and this done backfired in my face. Okay? Like a 1979 Pinto. Okay? So... We'll see on down the line. So, he's there at the prison in some parking lot. And here comes Skylar's mom and brother. Wait a minute. When I see Skylar's mom, I was like, that's her mama? I thought it was her sister. Skylar's mama is very pretty. And she has aged very well, okay? So, Skylar's mom got some question marks behind Nathan. Because, see, when Skylar was out and they were in the halfway house, 
Skylar missed her curfew. And Nathan was supposed to have brought her back at a certain time. He didn't. They was out there having fun. And she missed her curfew. And they said, oh, no. Huh. I'm going to show you, Ben. I can tell you. Let's see you hop, skip, jump back to prison. So he's feeling some type of, you know, guilt over that. He apologized. He said it was real messy. But now they know what not to do. When they say for her to be home at 8 o'clock p.m., her butt better be there at 7 30, okay? So, the mom is unsure of this relationship. She's unsure of Nathan, but she appreciates what all Nathan have done for her. Now, Nathan done told the mom and the brother, listen, I'm proposing, okay? All right, I don't have the ring on me, but I don't work hard for that ring. And I will ask her to marry me. Oh, we shall see where this relationship goes. We shall see. Let's move on. Chris and Gabby. Boy, oh boy, what a mess. This is a mess, y'all. Okay? This is a mess. So... Chris and Gabby are in the car, and Chris lets the mom and his sister know, hey, we married. <laughs> we got married over there at the sidewalk at the bus station while y'all was around the corner. We just went ahead and got married. And so their sister said, oh, really? Oh, okay, well, congratulations. I mean, why didn't you tell us? We could have been witnesses. And he said, listen, ain't going to be no arguments. It ain't going to be no tension. I want everybody to get along. This is my wife now. So the mama was like, listen, it, it, it ain't no static. Okay? All right? We good here. You think there's some static here? We over it. It's above us now. You know, we didn't marry this half. Okay, fine. You know, ain't no we can do about it now. You will see sooner than later what type of decision you made. Mm-hmm. So there's Gabby and her lips. Why is it that every time we see Gabby, even though it's just it's been the same day in a couple of hours, why is it that it seems like her lips are getting bigger? I was like, dang, oh, I mean she's like It's like somebody just put something in her lip, a bicycle pump, and every few seconds they're just pumping up her lips. I was like, dang. It looked like it hurt. So Gabby, she's talking to Chris and she's talking about, you know, what all she's got done. Because see, Chris said, listen, I want to bang this out. I want some booty. We're going to have to do something. I mean, you only got 30 minutes. To get to the halfway house, I only need 10. And so Gabby is telling him about how she done got her for J.J. Titan. He said, excuse me. You did what? Yeah, I done went down there and got some, you know, my for J.J. Titan. All right? I just wanted you to know that. He was like, let me get this straight. I done got my ass whooped up in prison. $150,000. Some of it went to my family. And I gave you 60 k And you running around here getting your face chopped up. Your lips inflated. And now you done got to tune up on your for JJ. I don't even know how to, how to take this. I don't want to hear about it. Don't tell me about the process. What's really going on? See, when you locked up. And when the phone calls in, and when you are laying there at 9 p.m. by your lonesome, you don't know what the other half is doing. Chris, what you insinuating? You insinuating that Gabby's out there rolling with the homies? You insinuating that her coochie look like Arby's the roast beef? Is that what you insinuating, Chris? You out there insinuating that Gabby is dropping it like it's hot on somebody's hot rod? Is that what you insinuating, John? You out here insinuating that Gabby's for JJ is like a tunnel. Everybody done been through it. See, I ain't say that. That's what Chris insinuated. Chris said, 
you have to have a whole lot of trust on the inside from what your significant other's doing on the outside. Now, Gabby said she ain't been out here swinging on no ding a -ling -ling, okay? She's been faithful and loyal. But she's also done said that she got her a little couple of secrets. She got some secrets. Now, this man has nothing when he gets out of prison. Nothing. Between his family and Gabby, you mean to tell me somebody couldn't, you know, put twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 away for when he gets released? That man come out there with them prison plats, ashy lips, ashy hands, dry, a tooth missing, an ass whooping, and he didn't have anything to show for it. Foul. Foul. So Gabby and him get into this quick, stupid argument. And Gabby comes talk about, treat me like I'm your wife. Treat me like I'm your wife. I'm like, Gabby, calm down. Y'all been married all of 10 minutes at a bus station on the sidewalk. Calm down. So then after he was like, listen, I ain't arguing with you. I want some of that booty, okay? You got it tightened up for a reason. Let me loosen it up. And child, honey, they done went and did a little quickie. You know, somewhere, child. She come back and she was like, ooh. I ain't do my stretches. Honey, she said it hurt her child. Honey, honey, apparently Chris is hung to his knees. So anyway, it's time for him to go to the halfway house and then her mama. Now, we all know what her mama thinks about Chris and Gabby together. She don't like it. She don't like Chris. She don't let that be known. She said that Chris ain't even Gabby's type. Like, what is he, what's she doing? He be, she be out here dating, you know, sports um, types. Basketball players. <laughs> Cops. She doing with Chris. And honey, when Gabby walked in, she was like, hi, Ma, here is her mother. Why are you here? At my job bothering me with this foolishness. I married. Oh my God. You're married? She said, get an almond. She said, get an almond. This is a terrible idea. What is wrong with you? I married. So the mama was disgusted with that. And so Gabby has her an envelope. The mama looks at it and she said, get a lawyer. That's all I can say. You better get a lawyer. What's the paperwork? What is the paperwork? Child, Gabby is a hot, hot mess. Okay? She likes to run this mouth a little too much for me. And now there's paperwork. <sighs> Let's move on. Ashley and Travis, this ain't gonna take long. Okay, Travis is out. Travis ain't bad looking. He's not bad looking at all. He got pretty teeth. Y'all see his teeth? I was like, you better smile. Colgate smile, honey. So they're still, you know, uh, get there. So they're together. They're going to the, you know, hotel child. And so on their way, he's like, who's keeping the, the doll, Teddy? And so Ashley said, who? He said, the dog. Who's keeping Teddy? She's like, my Ted. Martin's keeping. He was like, uh-uh. Now, you know how I feel about Martin. Don't want no parts on of him. And I definitely don't want you to be around. I've done made this perfectly clear. What don't you understand? And so she said, listen, okay, don't worry about it, okay? He has a key to the place because he dog sits. But see, I don't change the locks. You out now. I don't need Martin to fix nothing. You're out. I changed the locks. 
by Martin. Now let me just stop right there. Um, love at the lock of producers. This this better not be the only time we see Martin. See, I'm gonna need for Martin and Travis to interact. See, that's what I'm gonna need. Okay, because I want that to be part of the storyline. Now listen, Ashley and Travis is gonna give us a little some some because Ashley ain't. Okay? She likes to drink and she may be popping some pills, allegedly, maybe. And I ain't talking about no Flintstone vitamins. I'm still, you know, on the little fence about her being 38. But I digress. So I'm going to need something to go on between these two. So they get to the hotel, and he said he can't wait to have some pe uh, some pizza and some beer. And that's exactly what he had, child. He got him some pizza, he got him some beer, and he got him some love. Okay? He broke uh, that back, all right? And both of them said it was good, good. Congratulations. Congratulations, child, honey. Congratulations on all these people. Who get out of prison and they get them some yum yum, okay? I'm glad it's good. So it's time to leave the great state of Virginia. Okay? Represent. They get on the plane. They get on down the floor to her house. Nice house. He's like, oh, oh my God. Honey, he's seen that big nice house. He liked what he seen. He liked the pool. He liked the furnishings. Asher does say she done dropped a pretty penny furnishing that house. So it will be nice for Travis. Y'all see when she was putting that stuff in that safe. <coughs> Y'all seen that, right? Did y'all see when she was putting that stuff in that safe? What was that? That money, jewelry, whatever it was. Girl. Remember why he went to prison. Travis said that he's going to do everything he can to make Ashley happy. Now, they're not technically engaged, but eventually it will get to that. He just ain't financially ready yet. He's not settled, but once he gets settled, he will propose. To Ashley. I'm going to need for y'all to step it up. Ashley, I'm going to need for you to do a little bit more drinking. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay? If y'all ain't going to have Martin in the picture, I'm going to need something from these two, child. Something. Let's move on. Let's talk about Justine and Michael. Who does Michael look like, y'all? I can't put my finger on it. But when he's sitting there in that confessional with his hair blown out, who does he look like? He looks like somebody. But I just can't put my finger on it. Justine Michael, they dressing to impress, honey. They got the little, you know, coordinating outfits. They even got the matching pajamas. They up in the hotel, okay? And they done had the night of their life, honey. They woke up smiles on their face. Justine said, mm, 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 mm. I sure have missed that. Justine said it was good, good, honey. They was giggling and laughing. I said, all right, all right, we get it. That's why y'all got all them kids. And so it's time. Okay, it's time for Michael to go see his children, his mother, his father, his brother, okay, and his homeboy. Who's his homeboy's name, y'all? Latte? Who was that boy's name? Frappuccino? Y'all, what was that boy's name? His homeboy. What about Mocha? Mm hmm See, it's time... To meet up with Mocha. But see, Mocha is calling him and honey, Justine ain't having it. Justine said, this is family day. Okay? Ain't nobody tried to be here for Mocha. 
okay? You're supposed to be focusing on your children and your family and me. Ain't nobody got time to talk to Boca today. You can talk to Boca any other day. And so, Michael said, if you don't calm down and pump your brakes, this is for the future. Okay? Mocha is apparently his music connect. Because, you know, Michael, he dropping music. Now, I don't know what music he done dropped. Okay? Now, I have asked y'all several, several times to tell me Michael's hit. I ain't seen Michael on no BET Hip Hop Awards. I ain't seen him on no Grammys. I ain't seen it. I ain't heard it on no Spotify. I ain't heard it on SoundCloud. Where is it? If Mocha is the one that's going to make your music career rise up, honey, I'm going to need for Mocha to do something a little bit better. Put your name out there. Michael, I'm going to need for you to drop bombs, okay? Where's the bars? Where is the bars, okay? So Justine is just fed up with it. She ain't having it. Michael said, zip your lips, okay? I'm about to be big up in here. So it's time to meet the family. And I've said this. Both of them, Justine and Michael, beautiful children. Absolutely beautiful gorgeous family and it was such a sweet moment when his kids was so happy to see their dad his father his brother his mom oh it was so sweet and michael said listen okay i couldn't you know have that type of feeling inside prison because you know you can't be out here you know cry not flying in front of the inmates they gonna think you're soft but since i'm out i can just let it all out he was emotional and crying and i loved it i absolutely love that scene it's so sweet to me but anyway so everybody was happy and then here comes um, latte, mocha, frappuccino, cappuccino, chai. And honey, Justine was like, did not tell. I said that he'll need to be around here. It's family day. Honey, Justine ain't, ain't down with it. She ain't down with Mr. Mocha. Hot chocolate, latte, frappuccino. Mm-mm. Let the tension begin. Now see, was thinking that the tension and the storyline is going to be wrapped around um, the baby mom. The uh, preview is going to be Justine and his mama is going to have some words. I said, oh. Oh. Interesting. Mama Michael ain't, ain't happy. Because see, Justine said it's levels to this. Justine said, yes, I'm aware that his mother is going to be in the picture. But see, now I'm his wife. And I'm above the mother. See, I'm, I'm beside of him. Okay. I'm the top dog. Ooh, Justine, you sure? You sure? Because, honey, that mama look like she will cuss you out with a smile on her face. But Justine ain't gonna bow down either, so I'm here for it. I'm here for all the tension, okay? Let's move on. Last is certainly least, honey. Monique and Derek. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. This! These two is what I'm talking about. It's time for Derek to get out. And we got Monique and her sister. And that little white vehicle that kept turning around and circling around. Yeah, it was it was some women in there. But it wasn't what you thought. It's his sisters. And when I tell you, they were camera ready. They said, you ain't gonna catch us slipping. <laughs> oh, no, you ain't, okay? This is how we do it in Ohio. 
Honey, the sisters' hairs were dark. They had the makeup. They had the lashes that wave at you. They done coordinated the outfits, black outfits. And they said, get us, get us love at the lock-up cameras. Right there. How you doing? They were about it, about it. And when I tell you, it was a shade thrown. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. So. The sisters are getting out. Now, this is what happened. Monique didn't want any of his family there because she wanted it to be all about her. She wanted her time with Derek by herself. Just those two. And Derek, instead of telling her, no, Helpful, I want my family there. Okay? All of y'all can get some of this. It's enough for me to go around. He didn't do that. Okay? He was like, sure, why not? Okay? You don't want my family to be there? I'll make sure that they're not there. Okay? Do not come. And even the sister said that he told them not to come. But they said, you done lost your mind. You've been locked up for how long and you think we're not going to show up? <laughs> Surprise, we here, camera ready. And so Monique is upset. So the sister goes over there and she was like, why y'all here? Y'all don't even supposed to be here, okay? It's supposed to be Monique and Derek. Why are you trying to take her shot? And so the sisters is like, why are you over here? Why ain't Monique over here introducing herself with her snobbish ass? Why is she so stuck up? So sister said, ain't going to be too many more words. He's like, what you going to do? Okay? Won't start now. Won't be none static. Okay? Don't you see us? We got ready for this. And we going to stay. So, the sisters is talking about Monique. And they talking about Monique bad. They talked about Monique's weight. They talked about Monique's face. They, they done call Monique a clown face. They said, listen, this ain't even Derek's type. Okay? Derek don't be dating nobody like that. She's big. Like, uh-uh. This ain't even it. We don't even know what's up with this. It's laughable at this point. And so Monique said, I'm not putting up with this, okay? And then Monique done said, I have a cookie. Can you say the same? I said, oh. oh. What you mean by that, Monique? Y'all know what a cookie is, right? What you insinuating, Monique? <laughs> so Monique and her sister done laughed. And so one of the sisters done posted on Facebook or social media. She done took a picture of Monique and clowned her on social media. I said, oh my God. <sighs> so Monique is like, I'm not putting up with this. I cannot believe they're doing this. I told Derek I didn't want his family to show up. And then this happened. So she thought better of it because she wants to be there when her man gets out. So she goes back. Her and her sister goes back. Then his sisters are still there. And who rolls up? Derek. A little cute little thing. He look like a pocket watch. How tall is Derek, y'all? A good 5'7". Derek is cute, though. Derek is a nice-looking man. So he gets out, and who does he go to first? Monique. Now, before y'all even say anything, okay, I'm just going to tell you what Derek said. Derek said, now, I ain't going to stand here and lie to you. I was a little taken aback about how big she was. Now, I didn't think she was that big. But I knew this, that she was plus size. Fluffier. Go 
throw it in. Okay? And it's all right. We done discussed this. It's just more, you know, more motion in the ocean. More cushion in the push. And he says, I'm down with it. He said, BBW. He down with it. He said, it's all good. He said, see, I'm strong, strong. I've been out there in that prison lifting weights, and I'm about to lift her weight. That's what he said. And he said, once she get a hold of this, all of this, Honey, weight ain't even an issue. He about to blow that back all the way out. He don't care if she's 100 pounds. He don't care if she's 700. He about to lift her up, up against that wall, and pow! And I ain't even mad at it. You better go ahead, Derek. Ah! And so they were hugging each other, kissy, kissy. And he said he loves this woman. She's been down for me. She's been there. And I love her. See, Monique has said that his family wasn't nowhere to be found when um, he was locked up. Okay? That they didn't visit. They didn't contribute. But now, they want to show up when he gets out. So here's Derek. Now Derek didn't know that all this had went down before he showed up. Derek was introducing his family to Monique. Ha! This is my sister. This is my brothers. <laughs> the sister was like, mm hmm we done met. Please show more of them sisters. I'm going to need more of them sisters. Okay? That's what I'm going to need. So it's time to get um, Derek cleaned up, okay? It's time to wash your hair. He hasn't washed his hair in a year. He has locks. And honey, it's time to do some. So they go get his hair done. And Monique and her sister's on one side. And then his family's on the other side. And they just have a conversation. Monique said, listen, okay, I just wanted it to be me and him. And he told me it was going to be me and him. So the other sister was like, well, why are you being selfish and rude and nasty? We his family. Of course we're going to be there. Okay? Why are you, why are you being so selfish? Side note. How do y'all think the sisters are going to react? When they find out that Monique has a plan of putting cameras in their grandma's house. Hmm? Monique, I think you better change that plan. You better not put one camera in that woman's house. Not one. The only thing that's showing is your insecurity. How you gonna violate that woman's privacy like that? Spying on your man. Look, when he got out of that vehicle and he was huggy, huggy, kissy, kissy to you, that's all you need to know at this moment. Them cameras need to go. And honey, them sisters find out that you don't put cameras in their grandma's house. I hope you got hands. Because those two sisters look like they fight. Okay? That's just what it looks like to me. It's going to take you and your sister to go against them two. Okay? And I still don't know if y'all can win. Have y'all ever seen like someone who just look like they can just throw down? Who got hands? Them sisters look like they done been in some viral fight videos. So they're having a uh, conversation. They're going back and forth with each other. And so here comes Derek. Derek said, y'all stop, okay? Now, I did tell Monique that, you know, y'all don't need to come and y'all was not coming. You showed up anyway. Oh, well, okay? I was just trying to keep everybody happy. I did not want y'all to argue. This ain't how I wanted it to be. Everybody just needs to get along, okay? I ain't nobody trying to hear that. So they were cordial with each other. And Monique couldn't let it go. 
Monique said that she's going to tell Derek not to speak to his sisters. Monique, every... Monique, what's wrong with you? How you going to tell this man that he can't talk to his sisters? That's a grown man. How? You going to try to hold on to him that tight? You mad because they made fun of you, girl. You mad because they said your face looked like a cloud and you was big as all outside. You can't keep that man from talking to his sisters. Now, her sister has a problem. Okay, she don't fully trust Derek. She don't know exactly what he's up to. She's worried about leaving her sister there with them by herself. Monique said she's good, though. She's going to stay in Ohio for two weeks. Did y'all see all that stuff they had in there? I said, good God. They had boxes and luggage and carry-ons. I said, damn. Might as well get in the apartment together. Do the grandma know y'all bringing all that crap to her house? And so it's time, okay? It's time. Okay? Derek done got his hair done. It's been a long travel day. Derek done jumped on the bed and he said, I'm going to show you, but I can tell you. Come on over here, big love. Okay? Come on over here. And baby, they were kissing and smooching. And I was like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Love after locker producers. That's enough. Please don't show. We don't need to see everything, y'all. We don't need to see it all, okay? We just we just know that they're going to have a little fun time. That's all we need to know. Child, I guess he blew that back all the way out, child. <laughs> Derek. Oh. Okay, I ain't even mad at it. All right, we'll see. Y'all, Monique is going to destroy this relationship. Y'all think Monique's going to destroy this relationship with her selfish, possessive ways? We shall see. And that's it, y'all. That is it with this recap of Love After Lockup. If you new here, welcome to the family. All right? And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends. Bye!